We begin with breaking news out of Meriden tonight. Information on this is still coming into our newsroom, but here is what we know. Meriden police are on the scene on I-691 eastbound in Meriden just before exit two-way. State police are saying there was an active disturbance a little after 8 p.m. tonight, and what that means is not yet clear. Let's get out to Fox 61's Jake Garcia and Meriden. Jake, what do you see? Well, Carmen, we can tell you that we are still trying to learn what that means as well. We do know that that all started just after 8 p.m. I'm going to step out of the way here so you can kind of get a better look. We are near Broad Street uh, here on the eastbound side of 691. We have seen Connecticut State Troopers um, kind of walking up and down the eastbound uh, eastbound lane side, uh, scouring uh, the lanes there with their flashlights, all centered around a white truck that you may see right now, uh, kind of with the door open. Uh, the investigation seems to be centered around that car. We don't know yet exactly what happened, but we do know that it happened just before exit 2A here in Meriden on the eastbound side. Uh, EMS and the local fire department were also contacted. We know one person was taken to an area hospital. Their injuries are not yet known. Uh, the eastbound side of I-691 has been shut down for the investigation for about a mile. It's closed from about Columbus Park here to Broad Street, so uh, drivers are asked to find another uh, route if you're headed on the eastbound side of I-691 here in Meriden. We're going to continue to follow the story. We don't know how long the highway will be shut down as this investigation is still in the early stages. Live in Meriden, Jake Garcia, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.